Hello everybody, welcome to a pickup video. I'm gonna start with this. Oh yes, the Star Trek collection, or is it as is it or as it is called Star Trek Star Date collection? Ten original movies and additional content uh, collection. We have 10 movies, 18 hours plus 8 hours of bonus content. Sounds good to me. Discover the Star Trek universe, blah blah blah. Basically it's all the movies with the original crew and the, the next generation crew. And that's the only movies that matter to me from Star Trek. So, cool. Let's see what else arrived. Recently, now funnily enough, I don't have enough <laughs> space to leave this one. Okay, now the second thing that arrived a couple of days ago, I haven't opened it yet, is this one Dark Star, the interactive live action game. Basically, it's a FMV game from 2000. Well, it's either this year or last year, I don't remember. Yes, you heard that right, an FMV game. And sounds quite an interesting game too. Features two disc soundtrack album. Well, yeah. In game maps, sound mix capability. Okay. Puzzle, mazes, and other challenges. 74 page printable production book. Okay. Here you can have a quick look. Well, I doubt you can, but you can try. Dark Star. And I bought it for £1.70 from Amazon UK. Let's continue. This game for the PC as well. And the last one was for the PC, of course. Power Joe. I think this was also released on an, on a console, I'm not sure which one. This is a racing game with uh, futuristic vehicles, think of Wipeout I guess. Although I haven't played the game. I have seen some videos and it looked fantastic, that's why I got it. Now I have this one, the Command and Conquer Saga. Includes Command and Conquer the first decade, which I have, but I have not. I have kind of lost it. And Command and Conquer 3, without the expansion pack. Now, I know there is a, another version out, which has all Command and Conquer games, including the expansion pack and I think Command and Conquer 4. But that requires Origin. This requires nothing. Let's see. The other thing. Dun dun dun. Well, I like it anyway. UFO. Basically, the reason why we have the games XCOM. This is the DVD collection. There is no Blu ray. But it is the full collection. The next is. One of my favorite films, The Last Starfighter. Uh, yeah, as you, oops. as you can see, the cover is not in English, but the movie is. One of the best movies of the 80s. Uh, just a great movie, definitely recommended. Second to last. Then another PC game. Well, two PC games. Microsoft's Combat Flight Simulator and Crimson Skies. Both very good games when they were released. And I'm pretty sure that at least Crimson Skies will be quite playable even today. And last. Let me get it. It's a bit heavier. Okay. Hardbook Edition. Of Ayn Rand's The Fountainhead, with a special introduction by the author. 
I have read the book. I have read. I have. Uh, well, I have read about the book, <laughs> and of course, I have watched the movie. And yeah, I'm quite a good reading this. Um, yeah, I have to say, from what I have read so far about her, I completely agree with her in uh, almost everything, or everything. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it for today. For the pickup, actually, it was over the last couple of days, but I decided to leave them all for today to make this short video. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. There are more things. I think. Let me see. I think I forgot something. Ah, uh, okay. One second, please. I think I have done this. Yes. And frankly, I don't remember if I have them or not. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to do them, and if I haven't, I'll leave them in. If not, I'm going to remove them. Right. First of all, yellow. The, the album is called Baby, and I had this on LP. It was uh, one of the few LPs I ever bought back in the day. Fantastic album, fantastic music. Next, State Shift for the PC, another racing game. There is also a PSP version, which I have for my PS Vita, and. I like it. I don't know why I never got this on PC. Then we have this one, which funnily enough, I already have. Not just the base game, but also the exact copy. I have one more copy of this I bought last year. I forgot about it. And lastly, this one. Shadow of Mordor. Game of the Year edition. It includes all the DLC and stuff. Without the need for a code or to download anything. Game Game of the Year edition such as this. And uh, such as this. Which include everything. I always buy them. Always. Sooner or later anyway. And uh, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. More next time. Bye bye.